Hello guys, welcome back to ServiceNow. Today we are discussing UI policies. So what is a UI policy? It's a UI means user interface. So it's a user interface policy where you see user interface. The user interface is on form. So the policies which is related to UI elements on the form are known as UI policies. This is my incident form. So you may see certain activities here. You are seeing this one read only. You are seeing something mandatory. And sometimes you see something visible and not visible. So all these three basic functionalities we handle with the help of UI policies. So let's go to the UI policies, right click, configure UI policies. We have client scripts as well. So both UI policy and client scripts runs on the client side that is on user interface UI. But UI policies work faster than client script, load faster than client script. So whenever it is possible, try to create a UI policy instead of client script. Let's go to the UI policies. So these are the UI policies which are there on incident table and task table. Why task table is also shown here because task table is the base table of incident. So so the UI policies which are there on the task are also applicable on the incident form. In case of execution, always remember, first of all, the child table UI policies will get executed, then the parent table that is base table. So let me show you one of the policy. For detailed definition and usage, you can read all this. First of all, we have a table. We have to select the table on which table it will apply. Then active, you know what is the meaning of active. Then we have the short description. This is also the name. So we basically refer UI policy based on short descriptions. And then we have the when to apply. That is the condition. This is the most important part. When you want the UI policies to be applicable, okay? So for that, we need conditions. After the conditions are met, then you have to specify the action. What action you want on form as well as on the related list as well okay let me create one ui policy for you on incident form uh, so let's see click on new provide short description then we have when to apply that is a condition so let's say uh, let's make it on the basis of category okay so when the category is inquiry and help i want to do something so we are done with the condition first of all we have to submit it we have to save it let's save it here we have some check boxes let's discuss all this so the very first one is global it means that this particular ui policy will run on all incident views okay if you uncheck this then you have to specify the view click on it you can see there are total 11 views here. So all these are views of incident table. Let's say you want this UI policy to run on a particular view that is the password. In that case, select password. So now this particular UI policy will run on only password view. Okay. This is the use of global. So click on global. So in case you want to run this UI policy on loading of the form as well. So you have to select this checkbox. You can see how UI policy giving all alternatives to client script. All load is also available. Then we have this reverse if false. It is a very beautiful concept. I will show you how it works. Just wait for the implementation. Then we have this inherit option. So in case this particular table incident table is a base table somewhere. So if you want to inherit this UI policy to the child as well, in that case you have to check this otherwise remove generally we don't want that so we have to remove that okay so now you understand all these check boxes now we have to provide the ui policy actions so we have the condition if the condition evaluates to true in that case i want to do something what i want to do click on new under ui policy actions so here you have to provide the field name field name from what from the incident form Click on select. You can see all the fields are here. Subcategory. So if the condition met true, 
I want to make something in subcategory. So now you have to provide all these three options mandatory visibility and read only. So I already told you UI policy is known for working on all these things. Once the condition are met, I want the subcategory to be visible and mandatory. OK, let's submit. So our UI policy is ready. I have added one action based on this condition. Let's go to the incident form. Reload this. So you see here. The UI policy is working because. The category is the same which we have in the condition and subcategory is mandatory and available. Let me change it to different value. So now you see the subcategory is not available. That is the magic of reverse if false. So why this is happening? Because we have checked reverse if false. So the condition is this, but the condition is false here, right? It is not the same which we have provided in the UI policy. And what we have mentioned in the action, we want the subcategory to be true and visible. So when the condition is false and we have checked reverse if false, okay? In that case, now the subcategory field is non mandatory and it is not visible. That is the magic of reverse if false. You see, again, it is available because condition is true. When the condition is false, it is reversed. So I think you understand the concept of reverse if false. You can define n number of actions here on n number of fields. You can define actions on related list as well. One thing is left here that is script. So if you understand the script in that case, you have to select run script. So you see here execute if true execute if false. It means if the condition what is here is executed true. If you want to do something more which is extra than these three options mandatory visibility and read only in that case you have to specify here. And when the condition is false, you have to specify here. So basically, if you want to go beyond the basic actions, then you have to specify your action explicitly in this particular script. OK. How to write a script and all we will see in different video. But for the time being, this is all about UI policy. So I think it is pretty much clear to you. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends. Till then, bye bye, take care.